Hey hello everybody, my name is Kedemo, welcome back. For another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode, we're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and simulated the last uh, part of the season and also did the playoffs, which ended up in being a little bit of a longer video and stuff like that, but we won uh, the cup once again, boys. Now, I couldn't uh, simulate or stop the simulation time to watch the actual uh, celebration and all. But uh, I guess it's fine. We already seen the celebration before, so it's fine, I guess. So Stanley is second Stanley Cup and President's Trophy in, in three years, boys. That is fantastic. Uh, so we can already tell if we win the uh, the President's Trophy, we got a high chance of basically winning the cup the same year, boys. So a fantastic year uh, in the playoffs for Lafreniere. I hope he's gonna still grow and stuff. I really hope so. Let's simulate to the draft and uh right away and see uh if uh, there's going to be any retirees for us this year or anything obviously we're going to be doing the micromanaging in this video stuff boys uh dallas from uh, went from eighth to uh first in the draft lottery so they won big time they got the first position ottawa did not move pittsburgh moved by two a uh, move down by two so that's a shame for them i guess los angeles St. Jose, St. Louis, Nashville, Montreal, Islanders. Okay, so uh, we are obviously not there because we uh, don't have anything right here. We won the cup, basically. Uh, what's the retired players this year? More? Oh, there we go. M more big-time uh, legends, boys, uh, uh, retiring. So Crosby decided to retire at 37 years of age, 78 overall. He did good because... What he, he didn't play in the minors, but he was set down in the minors for right now. So he was going to play in the minors this year if he didn't retire. So he did well to retire, boys. So Crosby, there it is. He retired. Oh, we've got Kopitar, who retired as well. Getzlav, Bergeron, all this shit, man. There's a lot of players, big-time players that decide to retire. That's crazy. Uh, defense. Shea Weber decided to retire. 73 overall. Wow. All right. He dropped big time. Ryan Suter as well. Buffalgun. Uh, okay. So we lost Buffalgun, boys. 77 uh, overall. He didn't play a single. Well, he played eight games for us this year. He was our depth defenseman. He played all right for us. Uh, so we lost Buffalgun. That's not a very uh, a really big loss right now. Petrie. All these guys. I guess that's good. And goaltender wise. Uh, we got Alak and Dumnik, who uh, are the bigger play goaltenders, I guess, who decided to retire. The rest is not so much. Uh, let's find out really quick uh, for me, though, personally, because I did lose Buffalgun, but I want to see if I lost anybody that I missed, might have missed uh, on, missed out on. Okay, so no, only Buffalgun. Yeah, just Buffalgun. So that's the only one we lost. He's probably going to be available as a coach or something. Uh, usually Buffalo Gun becomes a coach or something. Um, Bergeron became a coach, so he's a he's a coach, uh, an available coach. I guess uh, Buffalo Gun didn't become anything, boys. Uh, did we lose anything? I don't know. We're gonna have to figure that one out. Hopefully, we didn't lose anybody, uh, any coaches or anything, because it worked out super great for us. Let's take a look at our coaching staff. Yeah, everybody's still there, so everybody's fine. Uh, coaching scouts, we still got all of our scouts right here, so we're fine on that part as well. All right, so uh, what now then? I think we just go into the draft lottery, right? So let's just go straight into it. I'm not gonna mess around right here. There's probably gonna be, uh, gonna be another franchise player just waiting for Dallas right here. I mean, there's a, a goddamn franchise player every uh, every year for some reason. Not gonna make any stupid trades. We won the we won the cup, boys. There, I knew it. Look at that. Another medium franchise player. Every single year, the first pick is a fr medium franchise. God damn, 84 overall as well. He's already a stud. Oh boy, Dallas Stars are going to be uh, something else, boys. Let's take a look really quick. Uh, what's the other players? Medium elite, DeRosier, sniper. Medium elite, power forward, a game loss. So they already, there we go. They already have a player to replace Crosby, boys. Semyonov. We've got Vikov, uh, some another medium elite power forward, medium elite two way forward. It looks like um, the uh, Saint Louis Blues they they missed out on an elite right there. They messed uh, messed it up a little bit, and doesn't seem to be anybody else right here. So let's make our pick. 
Uh, uh, hopefully we can find something. Oh, there we go. We already have somebody, boys. Howick, goaltender, guaranteed medium elite right there. So let's go for him right away. Let's pick him up. We already know he's a medium elite. There we go. I, I actually want to see, though, um, how much of an overall does he have. 53 overall. But for the goalies, it doesn't matter too much. You let them grow in the minors. You don't sign them, and they're going to grow by themselves. So it doesn't matter too much. So right off the bat, our first round pick, boys, which is the very last one of the first uh, round, we actually uh, got an elite. So that's fantastic for us. All right, so we got a gem, a couple of gems right here. Let's, uh, is there any other gems? Just this guy, just this guy. So this guy is the only gem available right now. Might be tempted to pick him up because he's a gem, but we know he's a top six. Tulipov, Shing Time. Well, these guys could be interesting, uh, but uh, I don't know if I want to go for them. Is there another guaranteed something? I mean, this guy seems like he could be, uh, he could be an elite, boys, Plekhanov. He could be one in the 67 overall uh, uh, in the draft lottery. So I'm going to pick uh, Plekhanov, make a chance on him. Well, uh, well, we'll just see if he's an elite first. He's a top four. All right, so not too shabby. He's a top four, boys, low top four, but uh, he's going to be able to do good for us. Why not? That's a good pick. That's a pretty good pick. All right, so now we're definitely going to pick the people that we know for a fact are going to be good enough for us now. 75 overall in the pick. I don't know if I want to pick a, another try my luck on an elite maybe or something. I'm actually just going to pick this guy up. We know he's already a sl uh, we already know what he what he is. He's a he's a low top 6. We're going to pick him up, boys. No problem right here. Uh wait. So we got another draft uh, another pick in the third round as well, which is fantastic. So I don't have anything on these guys. We're just going to keep going on the guys that we actually uh, looked at. So 93, I guess I could go for something uh, closer. Got to go for something closer, boys. So uh, in the hundreds could be decent enough. I don't think I should go for the 200s. You don't want to go for any 200s or anything because they're not big. They're not, they're literally nothing. So these guys could be acceptable. Uh, we're going to take our chance on this Tulipov guy. He's 19 years of age, but it seems like he could be a good one. Lo uh, medium top four. There it is. So medium top four, boys. Not too shabby. Uh, let's find out. We're in the fourth round now. Can I pick up anybody that could be interesting? I, I don't know, boys. Now these guys. I mean, there's some interesting players right here. Hybrid. I, I, this guy, Vala Krebs. Uh, this goaltender could be a good one. He could be a good one, boys. I'm not sure yet. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's try uh, our luck on this goaltender as well. 19 years of age as well. French starter. So, yeah, we can't be uh, taking too many chances on goalies. That's a wasted pick right there. Okay, it's fine. That's fine, boys. Let's just pick uh, people that we know for a fact uh, could be good. Uh, like this uh, other goalie, 20 years of age, I'm not going to pick him up. You got to pick an 18 years of age if you want like to go for an elite and stuff. So these guys seem like they uh, have been uh, scouted pretty properly. This guy is 19 years of age though. There's a guy that's 18 years of age. Sniper. He did uh, some uh, decent stats right here. Let's uh, try our, war, uh, our uh, luck on him. Bottom six player, so absolutely nothing. I waste up uh, my opportunity on a low top six and top nine players, so that's fine, I guess. We're doing we're doing all right right now. We're doing a good job with the draft lottery this year. It's just I can't be missing my chances right here. So let's uh, let's find out. Can I have uh, some luck right here? Come on, just some random luck. Okay, so I'm gonna take this guy. There's a low top four guaranteed offensive defenseman as well. We already know, so I'm gonna take him up. And uh, last pick of the year. Let's see what we're going to get as the last pick, boys. I'm going to try and get something as good as possible right here. So anybody that uh, is three, I guess. Well, there's in these guys right here, I don't trust anybody. There's not a lot of options right here. So I'm not going to pick anybody up that might be 19 or 20. Uh, this guy right here, Yakupov grinder though i'm not uh, i'm not gonna pick up a grinder boys what about this guy defensive defenseman 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I just don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a chance on this Bergeron guy, I guess. Goaltender. So we got free starter. All right, so nothing. Another nothing for goaltenders. So uh, we had a pretty decent draft lottery. Uh, nothing too crazy, but we had uh, some good stuff. We do need to re-sign our coaches right here. Definitely going to re-sign you. You gave me a lot of good time. So I'm re-signing you, buddy. No problems uh, right here. Re-signing you as well. Ah, shit. I... I, I gave him the the head coach thing. No, you're uh, you're gonna be an associate, my guy. All right, so an assistant. Yeah, he needs to be an assistant. Uh, well, actually, now he's gonna be an assistant. Yeah, I need him as an assistant, not an associate. You're not good enough to be an associate, anyways. Just uh, give you the maximum amount of money you want, buddy, and uh, you'll you'll be fine. You'll be fine on your own. There you go. Just give him uh, that amount of money. I think he's gonna accept. He should accept at least. All right, I messed it up for the associate coach though. Uh, scouts, we do have scouts to resign. Uh, I'm gonna resign you. Yeah, why not? You're an A after all. So the scouts uh, are gonna be resigned. Uh, we're gonna go ahead now and go to contracts. Look at uh, our players. What do we need to upgrade? What do we need uh, for the free agency and stuff? Right, we're gonna look at all of it. Uh, let's uh, make sure. Okay, so Larkin, 93 overall, Iguru boys. He grew up. That's perfect. Uh, Malkin still an 87 overall, but he's he's definitely gonna drop eventually. And it's interesting that he dropped uh, less than Crosby, right? Crosby was a 78 overall. Maybe he was playing on the fourth line or something. Because Malkin is uh he's older, and yet he's still an 87. So I don't know what they did, what uh, Pittsburgh did to Crosby for him to drop so hard. Uh, um, Backstrom does want to come back for us. But since he's an 85 overall, I feel like I could probably get something better. I feel like I could get something better. Now, he's played great for us, boys. He had fantastic... Well, he's played pretty decent for us this, so far. I, ju I just want to see if we can get anything better. So we're going to drop him for now in the free agency. We'll come back for him maybe if we have better uh, chance. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have a better uh, center than him. Uh, middle stat, I guess we're keeping him. So we got three centers right now. It looks like it. Eklund does not want to, uh, does not want to come back. That's not good. So one, two, three, three players for the miners right now. Eklund does not want to come back. I'm gonna qualify you, buddy. I'm gonna qualify you right now. So that's gonna be four players, uh, just like that. I'm gonna wait on Roning, uh, just one more year. It seems like uh, he's decent enough. Uh, Encock, I don't need you. Yeah, I'm going to wait on Ronin, boys. Because we already have this guy. And we have Johansson in the minors. So I can't really uh, sign this guy up. He's going to have to play in the minors and stuff. Okay, so left wing. What do we got? So we are going to need a center. I got I to gotta mark it down really quick. All right, it's marked down. I need a center. Uh, left wing. We got Panarin in 92 overall. 91 for Lafreniere. He's probably going to continue to grow during the off season. So uh, Panarin went back up. I think. I hope so at least. So that's our two left wingers. We've got Olofsson still. Uh, now Taravine does not want to come back. That's fine by me. Get the hell out of my team if you don't want to be there. Abramov, which was a depth forward for us. Now at 81 overall, he should be playing for us actually in the league. Uh, why not, boys? He's going to be decent uh, enough at the, the depth forward. We don't really need him for anything else. Lemieux doesn't want, want to come back, so let's not re-sign him. We got uh, one, two, and that's about it. Only two players available right now. We are going to re-sign kool -Aid. Uh Why not? Let's just uh, give him... Uh, let's just give him what he wants. There we go. I'm going to give him an extra year right here to grow. And uh, Mink, does do we want him back? Absolutely not. We don't want him back. We don't want to resign these guys. They're not quite ready yet to play. So we're just going to have to pick up somebody for the miners right here, boys. A left wing for the miners. All right, so it's marked down. Right wing position. Let's see what we got. Actually, do we have... Oh, we are going to need a left wing, right? We're going to need a left wing for the actual... Uh, for the actual league as well. Yeah. I forgot to mark it down, boys. Okay. So now we can take a look at right wing because I marked everything down. We've got Capo Caco. There we go. We finally grew again. You start grow again. 88 overall. Perfect. Uh, we've got Rackle. Still 85. 
None of these two guys want to come back. Boudin does not want to resign. Now I'm fine with Bujnevich not wanting to resign, but Boudin really? My 81 overall player? Big time prospect, fourth uh, round pick. I want him back, boys. Yeah, I want I want him back. He's a great player for us. He's a great goal scorer. Now he doesn't like the fact he was playing on the fourth line. That's probably the, uh, the that's probably what's going on here. But I want him back, so uh, I am definitely gonna make sure to sign him back. Uh, for that though, I'm gonna need to give him the the years he wants. So he wants a one year deal. I'll give you a one year deal, but I'll make sure you come back. So I'll give you uh, like two, uh, 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 one million more, my guy. All right, one million more. I am gonna need uh, another right winger at least for uh, the actual league. So one, two, three, and four. So we already got our four players in the minors. So we're fine on that. Defensive part, uh, we got Dowdy in 89 overall. So he dropped already. I, I kind of expected that to happen. He's gonna probably gonna be in the 87 by the time we start the season. 88 still for Klimbert. So Klimbert, well, I think he started to drop. I'm not sure. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six defensemen. They're all there, boys. Now, uh, Roy is not good enough to be a depth for a defenseman. We'll see, though. One, two, uh, and three. And that's about it. So three defensemen in the uh, minors right here. We're going to get rid of this guy. Okay, so... We are going to need uh, a depth defenseman for sure. And we are going to need... I'm actually going to resign you. Unless uh, unless you're not good enough. Uh, your offensive awareness is not good. Yeah, offensive awareness is not good compared to defensive awareness. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Okay, so no. We're not resigning you. Your offensive awareness is completely trash. Runanen uh, is your offensive... Oh, yeah. You're good. You're a good one. Uh, but uh, you're uh, you're in top seven. It doesn't matter. You're in the minors. I'm resigning you, buddy. Uh, let's give you three years uh, the money you want. So that's uh, a fourth player right here, and we're gonna need uh, Ragnus. And do we resign him, boys? We definitely resign him. He's a great player for us as well. We're gonna need one depth defenseman and uh, a minor defenseman, boys. So that's what we're gonna need uh, right here. Uh, goaltenders, last but not least, our Bre uh, Lake or Like did not grow too much. Run from a 71 to a 72. I hope that he's gonna like grow to, to become uh, available to be a, a, a main starter. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of this guy. He does not want to resign anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Uh, Holby does not want to resign, so I'm gonna get rid of him as well. Uh, Lake, what he's gonna do is gonna be the main starter for our team. And uh, now there's two players available. Uh, Grobeshkov, I'm going to get rid of him as well. There's another elite player available as well. I'm going to let him grow. Uh, I, I'm just going to uh, sign Garan, uh, Garan, boys. I'm going to sign Garan right here. I'll sign him to a three-year deal. Why not? And uh, what I'm going to need, I guess I'm going to need as well a, a natural backup goaltender. I'm going to need a second goaltender, boys. And I'm actually going to make sure to go for a good goaltender this time around. So uh, forget about the goddamn uh, Shusterkin being my or my main starter. I don't care if he's my starter or not. I just need a goaltender. That's all I, I care about. So we're going to get that done. That's pretty much done on this on its own. Let's go ahead and advance the day. Make sure that everybody signs. We restarted the wrong foot. Uh, glad he accepts. So we got my uh, my head coach. He's back. Uh, to be honest, I'm entitled to trail with the role you offer me. Okay, so he's a uh, he's associate. Okay, good. Assistant coach. I don't feel that the role. Okay, so so we don't have the uh, so, um, the assistant coach. We uh, we just need to resign him. Basically, we need to resign our associate coach. It looks like everybody resigned uh, player wise though. Let's take a look at our coaching staff. So yeah, it's this guy right here. He does not want to become uh, a, an assistant coach. One thing I am gonna do. Well. I don't know exactly if there I've got uh, other options, right? I'm actually, you know, what? I'm not gonna resign you because I might have better options, like a nay, uh, a nay uh, overall guy or something that I can pick up as a, a as a player, right? So I I'm gonna make that in, instead. All right, let's see. Is that uh, the last of them? I think everybody signed, boys. So we're good. We can go into free agency, start a thing up. I'm gonna uh, go first. Go for the actual. Uh, coach right here so I'm gonna look it up really quick
All right, so I already did my thing for the coaches. There was a lot of good options, but their ma the main option was an A plus uh, def uh, coach. So I'm going to try and get him as a def uh, assistant coach. I don't think he's going to accept because he's got so many options, but uh, we're going to try our luck, I guess. You never know, right? So there's a lot of options, good options this year, it looks like, especially defense-wise, boys, but the problem is we don't need a defenseman. We do need a center, though, for the main team. So we're going to take a look on that. Uh, 87 overall. There we go. So we're going to take a look on that. Uh, what do players, t the teams uh, tend to go for the most in these marks? And um, what's, uh, what's the mark right here? What's the uh, the thing that I should go for? So it looks like the highest is 87. So uh, we can only go up to 84, it looks like. So that's uh, what we should do. So... Uh, we're going to go high up in these guys right here, this region. Power forward, playmaker, sniper. They all have pretty much good stuff. Now, we, what we do have to look at is uh, this guy seems like everybody wants to go for him, right? So, what does he have? Does he have good stats? I mean, he's a sniper. He's 88 uh, of offensive awareness. Offensive awareness is not that high up, boys. It's not that high up. What about this guy? Uh, Nolan Patrick, 91. There we go. And uh, defensive awareness, 92. That's perfect. Uh, what about this? Uh, th this guy. There we go. Ryan Strom. Uh, used to play for us, right? He used to be a former player for us. Yeah, he played for us in the, um, the first couple of years, boys. The uh, three first years. And we got rid of him. Now he's. Uh, he looks like he grew. So that's perfect. So, yeah, I think this guy could be great for us. Ryan Strom. I think Nolan Patrick's even better. Yeah, Patrick's even better. So if I want to go for anybody, it would be Patrick for right now. Uh, playmaker right here. Shaw, is he any good? Oh, Shaw, look at that. 98 of discipline, 89 of offensive work compared to his 86. And he's got an 84 defensive awareness though. But uh, look, it doesn't matter too much, right? I mean, we should probably pick up someone that's good on both sides, though. So, he doesn't have that defensive awareness just yet. Uh, Kadri, not really. Bellows, don't know if I want to go for any of these guys. Uh, maybe, yeah, no, this guy, not, not so much. Bellows, Bellows is a good option. He's up by three right here, right? Yeah, he's up by three in my book. Uh, but uh, Patrick here is up by four, right? So we gotta look into that, boys. Uh, is there anybody else up by four right here? Uh, well, there he is. There's the Vorak right here, up by four. Backstrom, he's up by five. Yeah, so Backstrom is up by five. Look, at it. compared to offensive awareness to def uh, def to the actual overall, he's a great player. Backstrom's a great player, but he's gonna start to drop. I think for the best overall possible, we gotta look into this. So I'm gonna take uh, Nolan Patrick. Seems like the best option right here, boys. Uh, so we're gonna do that for sure. Uh, Nolan Patrick, a fourth pick. Somebody wants him. So we're gonna give him the years he wants. He wants four years, we'll give him four years. We'll make sure he signs for us though. So we're gonna give him 9.2, boys, for four years. He's being, si he's being signed big time. Left wing position. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Let's sign him already, boys. We already know we're going for him. Ovechkin, he didn't retire, right? But he, he's not playing. He, he, he stopped playing for uh, the Washington Capitals. So he's available. He's available, boys. We're definitely going for him. Big time. Yeah, our big stud, uh, big stud left wing. Now, it's going to hurt... Uh, people like, um, I guess he's, he's going to be hurt a little bit offensive-wise. We're going to give him... Nobody wants to go for him, actually. So we can give him as many years as we want. Do I want him for... Yeah, just one, one year right now. Because I don't know if he's going to start dropping, boys. He's probably going to drop. So just one year. I, I, I got to give him the money once, right? Yeah. If I give him one year, I got to give him the money once. Actually, let's just give him the two years he wants because I want to make sure that he does sign with us. So I want to give him more money. Give him the two years he wants, boys. Uh, minors. We do need somebody uh, for the minors, boys. So let's take a look on that one. So Brendan Lemur is going to be the guy we're going to go after, boys. We're going to re-sign him. He didn't want to come back with us, but you got no choice, my guy. You're going to re-sign with us. You're guaranteed AHL player anyways. 
You're you're staying with us, whether you like it or not. Uh, I'm giving you uh, just a one-year deal. Well, uh, do I want to give him a one-year deal? Yeah, sure, why not? Just a one-year deal, I'll give you the amount of money you want, all right? Just one-year deal, quick like that. All right, after that, you can decide whether you want to come back or not, but uh, that's up to you, buddy. A uh, right wing, we do need a right wing for the main team, and we already have a right wing, it seems like. So not only do we are going to uh, have Ovechkin, we got Patrick Liney available as well, boys. Another great scorer. Let's pick him up. Let's pick him up big time. Another great goal scorer. Now, he's, uh, he's, you got to be at least three up uh, high uh, compared to offensive awareness or defensive awareness compared to your uh, overall. He's just in there, boys. Just in there. So uh, we're going to pick him up just for the sake of we know what he is. You know, we know he's a good, uh, play a good player, a good sniper. He's an any one overall. We don't have a choice, really. So we're picking him up. He wants six years. Nobody wants to go for him. Nobody is interested in him so far. That's quite interesting. Just to make sure, though, I am going to give him a six-year deal. Sounds good enough for me anyways. Just make sure that he does come with us. So 11.9, I guess. And uh, defensive-wise, we do need a depth defenseman. We could have, uh, we could go for Provorov or Sergachev to upgrade our team. Not going to do that, though. Uh, I just need a depth uh, defenseman right now and a minor one. So a uh, defenseman in the 80s, boys. Should do, uh, should do the trick. Let's see. Offensive defenseman uh, right here. Let's take a look. Uh, so this guy, there we go. Four. He's four, uh, four plus. 84. Anybody else? 80. Uh, oh, hold on. What is he? He's an 80. Okay. 82. See, this is what it looks like. A a 80 right there. 85. There it is. So 85 of offensive awareness for this guy. 87, Muzzin, there we go, 85, all right, so we got an 87 right here, Jake Muzzin is going to be uh, the player we're going after, boys, so Jake Muzzin, you're being signed as our depth defenseman, uh, I'll sign you for three years, three years straight up, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to give you the money you want, so sure, why not, there we go, three years just like that, uh, we do need a minor defenseman as well, though, so watch out for that. Uh, anybody interested in, uh, in the minors? Seems like one of the best options right here could be a AO boys, but we got a low top four available here as well. Got some good players, but uh, I'm gonna go for Sebastian Ao uh, right here. So we're gonna go for him and uh, two years. He wants two years. Let's give him four years, maximum amount of uh, of time, boys, for us. Four years, and he wants a little bit less, so that's fine by me, buddy. Here we go. Give him the money he wants for that four years. And last but not least, what do we have to go for, boys? Well, we obviously got to go for a goaltender. And I'm going for, for this guy. He's an elite uh, player, right? So, Robin Lehner, avail uh, available right here. We could take any of these four guys right here. Fleury, Murray, Ederson, or Robin, uh, uh, Robin Lehner, boys. Either one of these guys. Now... Let's take a look. Uh, uh, who's the best available option, really? Who would give the most of the least amount of, uh, of stuff? So it seems like uh, Matt Murray or, or Laner. It seems like Laner could be the best option, but uh, Anderson also gives the uh, has the best goals against uh, average. So that's interesting. I I don't know exactly who I should go for. I think I'm just going to go for the safety part right here. I'm going to go for Robin uh, Lehner right here. I'm going to go for him. Give him a four-year deal. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, what uh, four-year deal? What uh, what do we uh, got right here? So I actually want to give him two-year deal, boys. We're going to give him two-year deal at the money he wants. So six, uh, 6 uh, five. That's what we're going to give him. Because at two years, he's going to be 35 years of age. And we also keep in mind, we have a like uh, medium elite uh, the goaltender, right? Who is going to be ready soon to uh, to play for us. Like uh, a year or two, if he grows properly, plays in the right spot, he's going to be ready to play for us. So we got to make sure that uh, that. So I was going to say no, but uh, here we go. He accepts. So we got an A plus all across the board overall uh, coach for the assistant part, boys. That's perfect. Our, uh, our coaches are going to be fantastic uh, for us. So we got everybody so far. We got our depth uh, forward, it looks like. Now it's the big guns that I'm waiting on. 
Robin later refused to go with us, boys. So that's part of the deal, I guess. Robin later decided to go for Toronto instead. Uh, we do have Nolan Patrick. There we go. We got Patrick Liney and we got Ovechkin. So we got our forwards. Uh, that's fantastic. All we need to, uh, we just need to find our goaltender now, I guess. That's all we need to find. So we still got, uh, as available players, right? We still got um, Fleury, Murray, and uh, Anderson. So these three options. Now they're telling me uh, the way the AI goes, they're not going for Fleury. So I don't know, boys. Is there something I'm missing on here? I'm not going to go for Fleury either. He's 40 years of age. And he has the last amount of saving percentage. I think I'm going to go for Murray. Uh, Matt Murray seems like the best option right here. So we're going to go for him, I guess. So Matt Murray, you're going for uh, an AD. Uh, you want three years? I'm giving you two years, buddy. Two years, just like the other one. Now, hopefully you... Oh, wait. No, I got to give him three years. I got to give him three years. Otherwise, because Chicago is already after him. Yeah, Chicago is already after him. So I got to give him two years. Uh, three years, but I can go as much as I can with the money. So uh, let's give him 6.75. Now he's going to accept. We're going to have our backup goaltender just like that. It's all I want, boys. Just have my backup goaltender. Go accept, buddy. Except to come with us, buddy. You know you want to. There we go. We got Matt Murray as a backup, boys. So there it is. So that's the that's that part. Anybody else that we should look into that um, got signed big time, right? Big other play, uh, players and stuff. So let's uh, let's take a look. We 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 had a, a trade. Nothing crazy. Okay. So uh, let's take a look. James Neal to Colorado. Matt Murray to us. Connor Sheary. Yeah. Schleplik. Uh, Anderson went to Vegas boys. Okay. Interesting. Vanacek, Shea Theodore, Robin Lehner, Ovechkin to us, Kadri. I don't see anybody true interesting boys. Tyson Berry, I guess. Provorov. Provorov went to uh, Montreal boys. Montreal got themselves a good uh, D-man right here. Sergachev going to Calgary. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. That's all I can see. Okay. So. That's all the big uh, signees uh, for today, boys. So let's go ahead. Uh, all we need to do now is simulate to the next season. So we're going to do that. All right, boys. So we're at the preseason. Let's go take a look at the roster moves. We're going to see if we got to make any changes or whatnot. So uh, we got one, two, three, four right here. We got our four players. It uh, looks like Malkin dropped to by one overall. Uh, is he still a, a top six? He's a top nine now. All right, so he's an exact top nine. He's going to start uh, dropping uh, big time throughout the season. That's fine, though. That's definitely fine. We got still Larkin at 93, uh, Patrick at 90, uh, 87, and uh, nobody else. Uh, Eklund did sign back, boys. All right, the RFA. He, si he did sign back, so that's good. We've got uh, left wing, uh, Panarin in at 92. Lafrenia did not grow during the offseason. That's fine, I guess. 91 overall. Might be a capping out at 91. I hope not. I hope he gets better than that. Uh, Ovechkin, of course, 88. Olafson, 85. We've got our depth of forward and Abramov as well. We've got Alaine, Kako, Rakol, Boudin. There it is. Okay, so that's that. Defense-wise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Muzzin is our depth defenseman. Good. We're good on that part. And Shishterkin and Murray. All right. So, and Brendan likes the 74 overall. He did grow, boys, by two overalls. Good. Good, good, good. So now I can just look at the lineups real quick. Uh, make the changes I definitely need to do. Uh, it's going to take me a while. Last time it took me about 20 minutes to do it just because of the special units and stuff. I'm going to try and make it quick, boys. I can't promise anything. All right, boys, so I've got my lineups done. Uh, it didn't take me as long as last time. It took me quite a while, maybe 15 minutes instead of 20. But uh, I got my lineups. I don't know if it's going to be as perfect as it can be, but I wanted to make it quick. So we're going to have Panarin, Larkin, and Line A together, boys, on the same, uh, all on the first line right here. Now, it's obviously, it's two snipers right here. We have a playmaker, so that might hurt uh, their stats a little bit offensively because there's two snipers, but uh, we'll try it out like that for now. Lafreniere with Patrick and Kako, boys, for sure. And we've got Ovechkin, Malkin, and Rakel on the third line. 
Olufsen, Middlestat, and Boudin on the fourth line. So sniper playmaker, sniper. So that's going to be hurting his stats as well. But uh, you know, I can't really do too much, uh, too better. I mean, there's a possibility to, for me to do better if I need to make changes or whatnot. Uh, a Klinberg and uh, Johansson, uh, Truba and Dowdy. There it is. And Miller and Zaitsev, boys. Now, Dowdy, did I not pick him up? Um, was he better or Johansson is better? Okay, no, he's got better uh, speed. That's why. Better skating. So, yeah, I was looking at skating as well, boys. That's important. Uh, obviously, our goalies, Shesterkin and Murray. Uh, AHL, you can see. That's what the AHL looks like pretty much. Defensive side as well. You got all of these. And we've got uh, Brandon Nike as our main starter as well in the AHL. So we're gonna we're gonna start with these lineups. If it doesn't work out uh, the way we want it to work, uh, I guess we'll just have to um, to go and change it up a little bit. I've got another uh, way that I can do uh, my lineups and stuff, but uh, you know, we'll try it that way for now. That friend has to uh, assist. Yeah, it's the same old people. For assist or we don't need to change that let's go ahead and uh, start the simulation up boys actually gonna uh, simulate the entire regular season really quick make sure that um, to see as well what the record looked like that's gonna give us a, a good indication of whether or not the, our lineups were good or not now regardless of if our lineups are good or not boys I mean we've got so many 90 overall players at this point that it's all good for the regular season, we don't need to fo to wor worry too much. It's in the, pro the playoffs that we are going to need to micro uh, micromanage that shit big time because uh, there's a lot of players. We don't know how they play, uh, how they play. So like Ovechkin, we know, I know for a fact Ovechkin is a good player in the playoffs just because simulation wise, I know he plays good, but for other certain players, I'm not too sure. Like, I don't know how line A plays. I don't know how anybody else uh, plays, right? So, uh, let's take a look. Preseason. Uh, one, two, three, and four. So, four wins and three losses. So, four and three. Okay, so it's not too good. We are going to simulate the first 10 games. We're going to see how it goes. But the preseason didn't look too good, boys. Two, uh, four, six, eight, and ten. So, all the way up to the... Los Angeles Kings game right before the next uh, month, which is the month of November. Let's see if our first 10 games are going to be good. Uh, shootout loss. So we, st uh, we started with a w loss and shootout against Edmonton, but we win against the Islanders. There it is. There's a win against Islanders. Can we get another win against the Islanders? Uh, we sure cannot. Uh, a, a shootout loss. So we're losing in shootouts. Right now it looks like Shishturkin got injured again. Now, Shishturkin is that type of goalie that gets injured every single year, boys. He always gets injured for some reason. I don't like that. I don't know why he gets injured all the time. It's quite annoying. I'm not going to lie. It really is. So, get in there, buddy. Come on. All right. Mike, you're going to get your chance in the a a NHL, I guess. Uh, Guerin, there we go. You're going to get this main starter, and you're going to get Fjord in there. All right, let's go. Let's do uh, let's do a thing, I guess. There we go. There's a win against uh, the Coyotes, just like that. Let's see where we uh, end up. Now, Nolan Patrick got injured as well. That's a huge puzzle to our our, our uh, huge member of our puzzle right now. That's not good. We're getting injuries this year. It looks like boys. That's interesting. Abramov, you're getting in there. Uh, do we want to play him in there or do we want? I I'm gonna try. Well, actually, he fits on the second line. Uh, I don't know, boys. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play him uh, there. Is he better than? Uh, is he better than uh, middle stat? Probably. I'll, I'll I'll keep it like that for now. Malkin's just gonna be have to play on the second line. All right, let's go, buddy. Another shootout loss against uh, the the Jets right here. Not good. Saint George Sharks fired their head coach. Uh, can we get a win? A loss in regulation against uh, um, Toronto. There's a win against the Vancouver Canucks. We also uh, got someone back. So is that uh, both? Okay, so both our goalie and uh, Patrick are back. Perfect. So Abramov, you can get out of here. We're going to get a Nolan Patrick back in here. And we're going to get uh, Shishturkin back in here as well. So Shishturkin, you're getting back in here. We uh, Oh, hold on. Let's get, let's get him back in here. 
Let's go back to uh, roster moves as well. We've got to head back and get uh, our goaltender in there. Brendan Like, uh, he's got to go back to the minors as well. You know, we got to play him. We can't be wasting him, uh, wasting him for games and stuff. So let's put him back in there. Chendel Floor. Nope, you're not. Brendan Like in there. All right, let's go. So now, no more injuries, please. We had two injuries back to back. Three, one, and three is not too bad. Not too bad. Only one regulation loss so far. There we go. There's a win against uh, the Red Wings. Another loss, but in shootout again. We're losing most of these games in shootouts. So I'm going to have to look at the shootouts. Change it up because we're losing right now. These are uh, valuable losses right here, boys. So a record of 4-2-4 two, and four after the last uh, first 10 games. It's not bad. It's not good either. It's, uh, the problem is it's only four loss, uh, four wins. So you count that as six losses right there. So I got to change the lineups a little bit. Doesn't seem to be working out. I mean, they're producing. Line is, gets, uh, is getting points, boys. But uh, yeah, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the way we're playing. That's the main problem right there. So we're, we'll take a look at the lineups. What doesn't work right here? The first line is working. Second line's working. Third line's working. Fourth line, not so much, but I can't really change the fourth line. I can't change it, boys. I can only change it like these three first lines right here. So uh, something so not too good, not too shabby. Uh, what do we do have? All right, so let's see how our players are playing. It looks like Malkin this year is a guy that's going to score goals. We got Rackle who uh, does passes, passes the puck a lot. I can't change Rackle uh, away, so I can't change him away, so... Let's keep that in mind. He passes the puck. Panarin is a two-way. So Panarin does both. Uh, Larkin does assists. So he passes the puck. And uh, Line is a score. So this these guys are working great together. Two-way, basically, playmaker and a sniper, boys. Uh, Lafreniere passes the puck quite a lot. He's playing great. We got a shooter. So we got Nolan Patrick is a scorer. And another passer. So, um, Capo Caco passes the puck quite a lot. So, we got uh, uh, two passers, uh, two guys who pass the puck quite a lot with a shooter. And uh, Ovechkin kind of does uh, the same. He's a, for now, a passer or someone who passes the puck, boy. So, there's not a lot I can change right here. It wouldn't change anything. Uh, I think it's it's fine as it is. I guess it's fine as it is. I guess I got to change the strategies maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, is there anybody else who has a default right here? Not really. Everybody's playing their part. What about Shishterkin? I mean, we he did get injured for a while there. He's not playing great. Once again, he's having a bad year. Yeah, Shishterkin's having a bad year, boys. And... Uh, he, uh, for me, he's on the same level as uh, Matt Murray. So if Matt Murray plays better, I'm going to play Matt Murray. That's just how it go it's going to have to go, boys. Uh, I think Matt Murray is going to have to be the one who uh, plays most games right here. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to be a bit slower on the simulation. Let's take a look at the team stats uh, really quick. What's hurting us, right? What is the thing that's hurting us right now? So goals, uh, goals four. We are the second best uh, offensive team. Uh, goals against. We're kind of the tweener zone. So we don't have too much. Our def uh, our defense is not too good. We got the best power play. And we got the best penalty kill. So I think it's just our 5-on-5 five five defensive wise could be upgraded. I think that's what's going on here. We are giving too many goals. I think with a change of goaltenders it could uh, maybe help us out. So... Uh, there's the first game against, I guess, the uh, the LA Kings. Let's see. Matt Murray got injured. What the fuck, man? All right. My other goalie gets injured now. Fucking Christ. All right. Like, you're getting back in there again. What the hell, man? My goalies are getting injured all the time. I don't know why. I don't know why that is, boys. All right. Well, like... You're going to just go ahead and get in there. You're going to get Shishterkin is going to play uh, main starter again. And if you're, you're going back in there. All right, let's go. I guess, boys. What else can we do, right? So we lost 4-3. to three, So that's a loss. That is not good. That's not good at all. So I can't be losing like that, boys. Oh, God damn it. All right. The, the kind trade. Can't be losing like that. Let's see. Uh, Shishterkin in the net. 
Uh, there's a win. Okay, so we get a win right here. We get a win. Uh, every time there's a, 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 a loss, I'm going to get the other goalie in there just to make sure. I'm going to see how uh, how he plays and stuff, but uh, there we go. Third game against Tampa Bay. Just making sure. Just continue for now. Shootout last. Okay, so we're sh we're really losing a lot in shootout. Shit's ridiculous. We re I really need to change that up. Okay, I need to change that up. Uh, other thing I do need to change as well is got the Matt Murray's back, boys. So we gotta change that one up. Okay, like you're uh you're getting replaced again by Matt Murray. I'm wasting like right here though by having to put him back and forth. Miners in the league right here. I'm wasting some valuable uh, games for him. Like, come on, guys! Like, can you not? Can you not uh, be injured all the time? It's getting really annoying right here. Really frustrating. All right, Fuhrer, you're getting uh, like instead of you back. All right, there we go. Just like that. Let's go back to the NHL and uh, okay, so that's gonna be it. We're gonna change right away. We're gonna change the uh, shootouts. Because we're losing all the goddamn time in the shootouts. It's starting to really annoy me, boys. So Larkin seems like it's not doing the job. So maybe uh, Ovechkin first. Malkin second. We're going to Lark Larkin in there. Lafreniere and Line. Maybe the lineup change just like that's going to do the trick. I mean, I've got the fucking one of the best players in the leagues. Uh, in the league playing uh, there. So there's no reason as to why we're uh, struggling in shootouts right here. There's a shootout win. There it is. There's that infamous shootout win we needed, boys. God damn. About them time. 15 uh, game right here. Let's get it. Let's go, boys. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, there's a big time loss in regulation against Chicago. There we go. A big win against Dallas right here. Let's get it, boys. Let's go. To, uh, I'm simulating slow right now. That's just because I want to make sure my team plays great. Uh, Line A got injured. That is not good at all. We're going to have to replace him with uh, Abramov, boys. So, Abramov, get your ass in there. And, okay, so that's still a plus three, but uh, you're going to have to go in there. So, Kako's going in there. Rackle's going in there. And uh, who who from you, or from the two of you, is the best option? All right, so Abramov has been uh, uh, have uh, replaced the location to, right there. Decline, decline trade. We got a win against... Uh, the St. Louis Blues right there. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue simulation, boys. Let's see what we got. Can we get a win? A loss in regulation against Montreal. That is not good. Get a win against uh, Minnesota. Come on now. Get a win against Minnesota. Uh, uh, Pittsburgh Penguins uh, decide to uh, fire their head coach. We lost in overtime against Minnesota. That's uh, we need one more. It's one more game to play, I guess, right here. What do we got? Okay, so yeah, one more game. Let's assimilate it really quick. Come on, you got this. You got this. There we go. There's a win against Washington. Okay, so we're at 20 games played, boys. Simulating very slow because I want to make sure that we get the right simulation. Five, three, and two in the last simulation. Still not decent enough. Uh, I think I do have to change the strategies. My lineups are fine. I mean, my, my lineups, I got the right lineups. The first line is producing like crazy. So I don't want to change it up because they're doing a lot of points. You know, it's a, uh, it's a big dilemma right now. I got the best offensive team. The best defensive team. Uh, what? Okay, my defense is going uh, trending up. So it's going uh, better now. Uh, power play. We went all the way down. How the fuck did that happen? Because of the injuries, probably. We had the best power play. Penalty kills going down as well. What the hell is going on? I don't know why that is, boys. I don't know how that's uh, how that's a thing. But uh, if my my five on fives is doing good, I think we're we're doing all right. I don't need to change anything. Not gonna change anything for uh, for no reason right here. So uh, two, four, six right here, eight and ten I believe. So all the way up to the Columbus Blue Jackets game. Let's simulate uh, as much as possible right here. We're going to really try our luck. See if we uh, can't get any luck. There's an overtime win. There we go. Another win against um, the, the New Jersey Devils. A win against uh, the Winnipeg Jets. Good, good, good. We got to keep these 
get this big winning streak right now. Let's get it. Get a, a big winning streak going. There we go. Keep going. Uh, keep winning, boys. We need those. Yeah, we needed that. We needed a big winning streak because we didn't start off. We started off pretty bad. So I, we needed something to head back right there. There's a loss, a big time loss against uh, Philadelphia Flyers, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, line eight, you're getting, uh, you're gonna get back in there right now. Abramov, you did uh, great for us, but now it's time for Line eight to get back in there. Uh, yeah, let's get him back uh, just like that. Now, Capo Caco, what he's been doing for uh, for them, pretty good. Uh, we're just gonna get Line eight back in there though. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's get it, boys. There's a win. There we go. A win against Dallas, Pittsburgh. Can we win against them? There's another win. So, so far, only one loss in regulation. Uh, and there we go. There's another win against Minnesota. Can we keep winning? There's one last game. There's another win. There it is, boys. We're in a four-game winning streak right now. And uh, basically, last uh, record of 10 games of 9-1. and one. That is fantastic for us. That's great, boys. And you can see our best player, Dylan Larkin, 55 points in 30 games played so far. Uh, that's really great really great for us so we got the right positioning for our players and we're starting to uh, we're starting to play great again so I think we just need I guess chemistry to come back up or stuff I don't know what what, what wasn't working in the first time around but uh, now it's definitely working yeah I think I can definitely see Panarin's definitely a two-way forward he's the type of guy boys who's gonna uh, be like a two-way forward. So we got a playmaker and a sniper playing with him. It's working out great. Uh, Lafreniere on this side, big time playmaker, right? He's doing great. He's doing great for this year. 27 points uh, playing with Patrick, which he's uh, a definitely uh, a, a player that scores, the uh, scores a lot. Now, I think the problem uh, is that Kako is a better playmaker than Lafreniere is. And since they're both playmakers, well, Kako gets the points a little bit more than Lafreniere does. So that's probably what's hurting him. Um, it seems to me like Ovechkin might be a two-way, boys. It seems to me like he might be a two-way. But he was definitely a scorer the previous years, right? He was a scorer. But with my team, it seems like he might be more of a two-way. So that's an interesting one uh, right here. So we might have a change that we can do. Uh, uh, Malkin is uh, a sniper, and it seems like Rackle is a, a playmaker as well. See, I'm not going to change the lineups. It seems like it's working out for me right now. It seems like it, it's it doing fine. Uh, what about my defense? Not too shabby. I mean, Johansson's not going to get points, but he's there only because he's playing great. Uh, yeah, they're, they're all playing great on their part. They're doing, uh, everybody's doing their part. Now, what about Shishterkin? Is he doing better? Uh, Murray started to drop actually, and Shesterkin's doing better, so Shesterkin you're keeping in there, and uh, I think that's fine. I think that's fine, boys. Uh, let's keep uh, let's simulate another ten games, boys. Uh, since I, I'm pretty happy where we got, simulate another ten games. Don't want to change anything. We're gonna go at half the season basically, so two, four, six, eight, and ten, all the way up to the Florida Panthers game. Let's see. If we can get another good simulation, get the winning streak going, keep it going. Um, Rackle, Ricard Rackle got injured, so I, I, we're really getting hit with the injuries this year. It's uh, it's kind of bad, boys. It really is. Uh, Abramov gets to play a couple of games though, and he's a great depth uh, forward for us. So that's uh, that's just great for us. That's just the better for us. Uh, we got a win. There we go. Our win against Columbus. Our winning streak keeps going, boys. That's uh, five wins in a row right here. There's a, a loss in regulation against uh, Nashville, though, so our winning streak gets down. Malkin gets injured, so now we're going to need somebody else. Yeah, both our players are injured. We're going to need to bring someone from the minors to play. All right, so I'm bringing up Eric Stahl, boys. Uh, he's going to be playing uh, in there. Now, obviously, he, uh, he's going to be playing on the fourth line. Eric Stahl's a great player. He's been a sniper, actually, in the AHL. He's been doing great. Uh, in the AHL, we're going to have to replace him with a stoner, it looks like. So let's just uh, do that really quick, replace him like that. And uh, that should do the trick. I don't know for how long Malkin's going to get injured or for how long um, Rackle is injured as well. 
we'll just have to see right now we're doing great uh with what we got there we go we got uh injuries back so uh who's back both of them well Makin not quite uh not quite there yet uh Rackle Rackle is back though so we can put Abramov in the center position now well actually you know what we're gonna do though because we'll make sure I don't mess up the lines I'm gonna put Rackle first there we go just put Rackle back in there first and um uh, uh put actually malkin you can come back why not yeah you can come back uh no problem right here you you come back you come back right here and uh we're gonna put uh back eric stall really quick in the miners i gotta so uh, do so many micromanaging right now boys it's unbelievable it truly is all right so ahl get back in there come on stoner instead of you it's eric stall let's go Get you there, right here. All right, just like that. All right, there we go. Continue the wins, boys. We're back in the simulation. Two wins in a row, three wins in a row, just like that. Can we get a fourth one? Yeah, I know Malkin's back. A fourth win in a row against Pittsburgh. Good. Fit of uh, fit of your flyers. We had a, a a bad time against them so far in the in the season. Can we win? No, another loss in regulation. So. Seems like we just can't be. They're the they are our dark horse basically. We can't beat the Philadelphia Flyers. We're doing great during the season. We just don't want to um, face off too much against the uh, Flyers right here because they got uh, the upper hand on us every time. So I think that's it. I think that's us to 40 uh, games. Yep, and that uh, for the last 10 games of records, eight to uh, two boys. So that's pretty good really good puts us at the best uh at the top of our division now we are in the we are in the race once again for the president's trophy we are gonna start uh, to have we are gonna have to start winning a lot more games though if we want to catch up to the flames the flames are having a great season uh dylan larkin 70 points in 40 games played he's having such a great season i know how to make my players grow boys that's just how it is i guess and with the coaches, a lot of A coaches all across the boards as well. You know, I've got a stud ass team. Uh, now, ho how's the team doing? Doing really good so far. I mean, Linus got 30 goals, 32 goals in 30 games played. He's He has more goals than games, boys. That's crazy. Uh, Lafreniere, there we go. He's doing, uh, he's doing just fine. He's doing just fine on his own, right? Yeah, 41 points in 40 games played. He's doing great with a, a, a play like this now Patrick seems to be a two-way actually he might be a two-way I don't know seems like he plays but he, he's got more goals so for me if he's got more goals than assist in my mind that's that means he's a he's a sniper right he's a guy that scores a lot so I don't know boys he seems like a, a weird one because he doesn't produce a lot he doesn't produce a lot but sometimes uh, in some shape or form, these guys, they get the puck a lot. I don't know how. Uh, Avechkin, how's he doing on the third line? Still got like uh, 24 points, 10, 10 goals, boys. Not too shabby. Uh, with a Malkin that's doing great and a, a Rackle that's doing great as well. So we got a two-way, a, a playmaker and a, 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 a playmaker right there and a sniper right there in Malkin. So that's pretty good. What about this guy? Olsen, he's a playmaker for sure. Another playmaker in middle stat. And uh, we got a sniper, obviously, and Boudin is a big time sniper. We would definitely need like a, like a, someone that's a two-way, that plays like a two-way in that fourth line, maybe help out like uh, Boudin and stuff. But, uh, you know, there's not too much we can do about that, Boudin. You're just going to have to stick with it, man. You got to grow on your own. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to... Uh, actually do anything with you defensive side uh doing pretty good yeah doing pretty good the defense is doing just fine goalies shishturkin dropping again in percentage uh murray going up so we're fine on that part boys so i'm gonna leave it for right now remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video we'll see you in the next one uh for the free agents uh for the trade deadline if we need to make any trades probably i don't know we have a pretty decent team. I just now have to make the right lineups and everything. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy.